want a campaign that says you've got two choices. Use Adrian Sebastian products or be ugly. Oh, Charlie, that is pretty crass. <laughs> yes. Perhaps that is, uh, shall we say, blunt. It sells. And I make the decisions, right, Adrian? Oh, yes. When I think of it, uh, perhaps uh, uh, sometimes the hard sell does hit the target. <laughs> so far, we've had nothing but interruptions and detours. I think you're trying to cover up a lousy campaign. Not at all. Here, look at these. I think you'd better call the office, Charlie, and tell them we're going to be a little late. Yeah. I'll dial it for you while you look at the first presentation. <laughs> I'd rather do it myself. It'd be my pleasure. Darren, put down that phone. <laughs> Sorry, my apologies, Mr. Darren, could I speak to you for a moment while I go over the ideas? Uh, certainly, Larry. Uh, excuse us. Of course. After you. Go ahead. No, please. <laughs> Just what are you trying to do? Is something wrong? <sighs> You're perspiring. Stop that. If you're not blowing your mind, you're sure blowing this meeting. Harry, there are guests. I'm just trying to be considerate. You're overdoing it. Will you just pitch that presentation? I think she digs the soft cell, but he makes the decisions. But it's her company. I'll get the other presentation. <laughs> Here, I'll do that for you, Miss Springer. Well, I can do it. It's just that it's so... I know. It's a messy man's job. I'm not knocked out by this, but it is hard sell, and that's what we want. I'm not sure, Charlie. I think we, we should look at Mr. Stevens' second concept. Well, uh, maybe he can come up with a tough hard sell with the warmth. He has ten seconds. And it bothers me seeing a pretty girl like you getting her fingers dirty. Very sweet of you. There's still a lot of chivalry left in the world today, Miss Brown. Thank you, Mr. Darren. <laughs> I've got it right here, Larry. Tate, I've got a gut feeling that you and uh, Sir Walter Raleigh here haven't got anything to interest us. Really, Charlie, Mr. Stevens was only showing common courtesy. Well, courtesy is a refuge of scoundrels and yes men. I've got a feeling he's both. Adrian, <laughs> we're running late. I think you're making a mistake, but it was a pleasure meeting you. Both. <laughs> Now, that's a darn shame. <laughs> Losing several million in billing? Yeah. I guess you could call it that. A darn shame. Unless you want to call it a catastrophe. <laughs> Larry, you're perspiring again. Here. <laughs> you knock off this do good a routine. Flitting around the office like the good fairy. Did it ever occur to you that people want to dial their own phones? Even if it's just to give their fingers a little exercise? <laughs> Larry, I was merely treating our guests as courteously and as politely as I know. And I've had all that <laughs> courtesy bunk. Darren, you've been working too hard. You too, Larry. I want you to take a vacation, get a little rest. Larry, that's very considerate, but I don't... No, 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 I insist. Go away somewhere. See the Caribbean, see the islands, see a doctor. <laughs> a doctor? To help straighten out your thinking, unkink you. Oh, wait a minute. It happens in the advertising business, and believe me, I understand. I know the pressures, the tensions, the frustrations, and then poof. So take a year, two years, three if you need it. Larry, that's the most generous thing I've ever. Darren, I didn't mean a vacation with pay. <laughs> when your batteries are recharged and you're back in your old form again, come and see me and we'll talk things over. <laughs>